lovely to see you both. Nice I to see so you. thoroughly enjoyed this. I probably got into it. Oh, I can't good. wait to see the rest of it now. Uh, just tell me though, uh, Eddie, maybe mm. what it's been like reinventing like one of cinema's most famous assassins. Like. Um. <laughs> Cool. I'm not going to lie. So I grew up watching The Day of the Jackal, the original movie with Ever Fox, and I loved that film. It was it was one of those VHSs in my family that was kind of completely worn through. So when the scripts arrived in my inbox, I opened them with great trepidation because you know when you hold something in such high esteem, you don't want to be the one to butcher it. But what I read was something completely contemporary. So it's set now that retained the DNA and the kind of love for the original, this like love of the craft yeah. of being an assassin, that, that I describe it as kind of being analog, yeah. rather mm -hmm. than nowadays with computers and all that sort of stuff, it's really about the building of clever gadgets and the kind of the planning and the chess playing. Yeah. Um, and I also just thought the Bianca character was so fully fledged and knotty mm -hmm. and both of them were morally complicated that it was it was a no-brainer for me. Yeah, I love that also it was on VHS. That makes me feel so much better. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> we're all that old. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, but Lashana, for you, you're... Hold on, is it MI5 or MI6? Because this MI6. Always, it is MI6. Yeah. Honestly, that's always going to confuse me, me in my too. head. No, I get it. I'm it? exactly the same. I'm like, yeah, MI. MI. She's an MI. Yeah, she's an MI. That's great. But you're our go-to girl for that, right? Like. Oh, that's We've, nice to hear. That, but that must be pretty cool when they come to you and you're like, yes, I know what I'm doing. And like, this is... Yeah, I mean, I obviously there's a lot of training and experience to l lean on there. But I, I do I do like to try lean to the student of it all. Um, or else you'll just get complacent in that, like, really early on when I was doing weapon, weaponry training for No Time to Die, I was taught about how weaponry is like an ex extension of yourself. Right. And in you know molding that into like what stunts looks like for each character you want them to have their own style yeah so no, no time to die is nomi had a very clean sharp finessed style and that's not to say that bianca isn't <laughs> completely trained yeah. and a specialist but she's just a lot more rugged with it right and i and i had to approach it differently or else you would just see nomi again and that would be the bane of my life mm. to go back <laughs> to this world and do the same thing yes. again yes. not yes i'm wearing a wig she's not got <laughs> short hair again that's fantastic <laughs> we've got 10 episodes it's a tv show not a film but like you know you you want it to be completely different yes. you want to have have a dead stamp on yeah. on something that's gonna I don't know push you further in your career as well which yeah. is what it's doing she's so clever though like so I clever. love how she's just like on it with everything I'm I'm curious whether the two of you are very good at figuring things out like when you watch a movie do you already know who like the killer is or things like that like because I feel like she's that kind of person who's like she'll, she's got it figured out in her head she does I don't you know I just thought of um uh, is it the the accused? The yeah. the ah oh, Apple show that um Jake Gyllenhaal oh, did. Oh, uh, presu presumed, presumed innocent. innocent. Yeah. What did I say the accused. Yeah. I, I was like convinced. Oh, it's it's the mum. <laughs> oh no, it's the lawyer <laughs> that's representing him. Every episode was a different person. Yeah. I am useless so like, when it comes I, to that. I love that you can reference a TV series from recently because I remember I used to watch Poirot with my family <laughs> <laughs> when, when I was a kid okay. with David Suchet. Like well, literally, I was nine or ten years old, and on a Saturday night we get a Pizza Express takeaway. It's a pizza. I'd be like, it's the old lady. <laughs> it's the old lady. And I never. We used to have bets. I never. Ever won. Really? Yeah, so uh, answer your question. Uh, no. No, useless. no, useless. good. You're as useless as me. Great. Yay. We're all in it together. <laughs> um, and obviously, we know Jackal is, is the code name uh, for Jackal. Yeah. <laughs> Day of the Jackal. Did you guys have code names for each other? Or if you could give each other code names, what would it be? What did you say the other day? <laughs> I was asked this question the other day, and I, I have this thing where. In China, oh, yeah. what people, um, like fans, give you a nickname. Yeah. And I uh, arrived in China and I was, they said, Do you know what your nickname is? Oh and my I God, said, I think I actually, no. I think, 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 so maybe that, I think, just maybe maybe get rid of the little. <laughs> just give freckles. I love that it's still stuck. I love that after all these years. I know, 42, that still... and they're still calling me little freckles. freckles. <laughs> I'll take it in my 80s. <laughs> oh, that little freckle. <laughs> Gosh, I can see it now. So. I, 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 I have decided that I would like to go the prince route. 
yeah. and have a sign that you can't oh. pronounce, but you can only write down. Yeah, the show's okay. signs? Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> oh, yeah, I decided this. I decided this. What's that? <laughs> Is, Is it this? <laughs> not a wand. It's a, it's a feeling. It's a thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's a feeling it's in a bit. It's an arm and head exactly. and shoulder movement. Exactly, and shoulder. And your toes might get involved as well, literally. Well, oh, here comes, literally. <laughs> and together we are the little freckles. <laughs> Wait till I come in to you next time. I'll be like, How are you? Hi. Hi. Everyone's like, she Is she okay? Or... <laughs> no, that's me. Um, and just tell me before I go, what yeah. is the coolest thing that you got to do for this series? <sighs> <laughs> you got to exhale. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, what was yours? Um, da, 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 da. You know what? It's, it's, it's a simple thing, but it was really important to me. I got to work with. Um, this wonderful <laughs> actor, other person, <laughs> no, outside of Eddie, I got to work with this brilliant young a child actor, but she's grown now, called Florissa Kamara, who has played my daughter before for a Sky series, oh. so good. Bulletproof, and I'm just so proud of her, and I just felt like she was my daughter for all of those months, and and that was that was like a warm feeling for me. Oh. It genuinely felt like I had. A family, mm. um, and and I just and I just love her. That's really nice yes. when you get to work with yeah. people a second time and you see them grow. And I think I worked with her when she was eight years old, oh. and now she's like fourteen, fifteen. And I'm just like, you're teaching me things. Mm. I was oh. bouncing off of her. So of all the incredible things we got, yeah. got to do, that was like a nice thing for me. Mm. God, I'm going to run with that and say one of my favourite things was me. was <laughs> you. <laughs> Outside of me. Mic drop. <laughs> Perfect. No, no. No, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. I also got to work with an actress who I had not worked with. I worked, last time I've done television was about 10, 15 years ago on Birdsong. And I shot it in Budapest, which is where we shot this. And one day I was doing a scene with, um, and this actress walked in, this Hungarian actress doing one scene. And she had, we had shot together 15 years ago in Budapest so I hadn't seen her for 15 years and she was there on set and she's so good and in on the last job she was playing a French woman and here she was playing a German funeral parlour wow. owner and it was just incredible to get to see her again brilliant That's really brilliant. Nice. well That's guys nice. good luck with the rest of the show well thank you the rest of the show the whole show, <laughs> the show. <laughs> and the rest that I will watch uh, thank you so much lovely thank you. to see you thank lovely to see you too thank you, thank you. Nice to meet you.